Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I'm back with a super special product. It's a drone guys. Now I bet you've never seen a drone like this anywhere else. It's a DIY building blocks modular drone. Yes, you heard me right. This drone is completely made of building blocks and the speciality of this drone is you can use these building blocks and transform literally any object into a drone. Yes, I'm not joking guys. You can make anything fly with this. That is mind blowing, right? The DIY drone comes in this box packing. It's quite a big box. You can see a picture of the drone here showing its modular capabilities. I'm so excited to unbox and check it out. It's made by this company called XG and they call it the DIY building blocks drone. Also this drone has a camera on it and supports Wi-Fi FPV. That means you can install an app on your phone and get live video transmission from the drone. Along with the drone you also get extra 54 toy bricks in the box so you can use your creativity and build your own design. Let's flip the box and check out the back side. You got a picture of the propeller arm here. It's got a clip like design so you can easily clip it onto any object and it says the motor can be rotated in any direction. That is actually very cool. Now this drone comes in two models with and without camera. I've got the camera model so let's get started with the unboxing. I want to thank XG for sending me this product for review purpose. Let me grab my knife and cut this cover on the box. So the box slides out like this. Let me cut this seal over here. There you go. Now it's finally time to open the box and check it out. So here is the DIY modular drone guys. It's quite big in size. It's actually a mid-sized drone. Let me just take it out of the box and show you. So this is how the XG modular drone looks like. It's completely made of building blocks. You've got the XG branding here. The build quality looks very nice. Looks like the whole assembly is held together with this strap at the middle. Alright, we'll check out the drone in a moment. Let's first see what else do we have in the box. You have a remote control to fly the drone. Even this is quite big in size. It's completely made of plastic and feels comfortable to hold in the hand. You've got two analog sticks on it, the XG logo, a power button and lots of buttons. I'll show you and tell you what each button does later. Oh, you also have two more buttons at the top and the battery compartment at the back side. So along with the remote, you get a pouch in the box. Inside this pouch you've got lots of accessories for the drone. You get two pairs of extra props in case you damage the original ones. In this packet you have some wire extensions and motor caps. Few building blocks. Few more building blocks of different size. A USB cable for charging the drone's battery. A screwdriver and a propeller remover tool. You also get propeller guards free in the box. Some extra drone arms. They have a clip-like design so you can attach them to any object of up to 25mm thickness and convert it into a drone. Lots of user manuals, they come in different languages, just make sure to read them to get all the info on the product. And you also get a phone holder. You can attach it to the remote and place your phone in the holder. So these are all the items we got in the box. Now let's check out the drone. The drone has a very unique design. You've got the XG logo here. The build quality looks very nice. It's made of plastic. This is the battery terminal. You need to connect it to power it on. The propellers also look good. Let me show you where the camera is. So here it is guys, you got the camera over here. It's a 0.3 megapixel camera and also has two LED lights about that. On the other side, you've got a port to insert the battery terminal. So that was our overview on the drone. Now let me show you the remote and explain you all of its features in detail. The remote feels comfortable to hold in the hand and has two analog sticks on it. The left one controls the altitude and the yaw and the right one controls the direction you want to fly the drone in. This is the power button. You've got an LED indicator below that. This button is for gyro calibration, altitude hold on off, headless mode and one key return to home. These are the left turn and right turn trim buttons, one key take off and one key land and the center button is for emergency stop. On the right you've got all four sides trim buttons and the center button controls the LED lights. I've also fixed the phone holder to the remote. You can place your phone here and check out the live video transmission. To power up this remote you need to insert batteries. You need to insert three AA batteries to power it on. Now what we'll do is we'll power it on, fly the drone as it is and see how it flies. We'll be testing it first indoors. Let me pair the remote with the drone. That's done. Now let's fly with the one key takeoff button. Oh that was fast. The drone has altitude hold. So you can maintain the same height even if you don't give any inputs.
It does look quite stable and controlling it is also easy but it doesn't hover at a single spot because there is no GPS or VPS on it but still it is better than most other cheap drones. Alright guys, now what we'll do is, we'll dismantle this drone, use those DIY drone parts and see if we can transform some object into a drone. I've dismantled the modular drone, here are all of its parts. This is the main module, the main part which has the circuit board inside. You need to attach all the propeller arms to it with the provided wires. Let me show you the arms. This is how they look like. They have a clip like design so you can clip them onto any object and then connect the wires to the main body. Sounds very easy right? So right now I'll be using this piece of cardboard. We'll convert this cardboard into a drone and see if it flies. This is just a simple experiment. You can actually do more crazy stuff with it like turn a paper cup into a drone or make a hovercraft. It all depends on your creativity. You've got 54 building blocks in the box so you can build any sort of structure and fly it. That is so cool guys. I literally can't wait for my cardboard to fly. So I've fixed all the arms on it. Now let's fix the main body and connect all the wires. Alright, I've fixed everything on the cardboard. It was a very easy task. Just use some cello tape to fix everything in place after connecting the wires to the body. And this is how it looks like. Now let's also connect the battery. There's no power button on it. It powers on as soon as you connect it. There you go. The blue LEDs have started flashing. Let's pair it with the remote and see if it works. Holy smokes guys, it actually took off. Wow, my cardboard is actually flying. Who would have thought a piece of cardboard can fly? That is so crazy. I totally didn't expect this. It's flying very well. But sometimes it's losing altitude and I need to keep adjusting it. So that was our indoor flight test. Now let's go out and see how it flies in outdoors. But before that let me tell you that you can also fly this drone with a smartphone. It's a Wi-Fi FPV drone and to fly it you need to install this app called Wi-Fi UFO on your phone. It's available on both Play Store and App Store. Let me open it and show you the interface. So as you can see we've got a live video transmission on the phone. It shows you the preview in 720 by 480 Let me show you all the buttons on the app. You've got two virtual joysticks to control the drone's flight, a 360 degree flips and rolls button, this is back button, photo button, video record, gallery, speed control, altitude hold, gyro and some other settings. These sliders you see on the screen are for adjusting the trims. The video quality looks okay on the screen, we'll take some samples in the outdoors. So let's go out and see how it flies. The takeoff was smooth. The drone is set to medium speed right now and the altitude hold is on. It's really amazing to see a piece of cardboard flying in the air. And let me tell you, it's actually doing a good job. You can fly the drone really high. The company says it has an RC distance of 100 meters and I had no problem flying it up to 50 meters. It was flying very nice. There was minimum latency, the drone was responding quick enough to my commands. The wind is not that strong today, we only have slight breeze going on and the drone doesn't seem to be affected with that. Talking about the stability, it was good, not the best I've seen. It was maintaining the altitude but was slightly getting drifted away maybe due to wind sometimes. But that was no problem, it was totally in control all the time. And one more thing I have to tell you is, the motors were not that strong enough. When you add more weight to it, the drone was not able to fly at good altitudes. It keeps falling to the ground. That's why I had to remove the propeller guards. But everything else was awesome. I'm also shooting some photos and videos right now. I'll show you them later in the video. It's such a fantastic drone guys. I really love the concept of DIY. You can literally make anything fly like an invitation card, a paper cup or even a piece of cardboard like I did. Talking about the battery life, on an average I was getting a flight time of 5 to 6 minutes on a full charge and charging the drone from 0 to 100 took about 40 minutes. 
This drone is perfect for beginners or kids who want to learn about drones or want to build one themselves. It brings out the creativity in them. Plus it's also not that expensive, it's very cheap. Now let me show you a few photo and video samples shot on it. It has a 0.3 megapixel camera and the camera quality was just average. It shoots both photos and videos in 640x480. There was not much detail in the photos and had lots of compression in it. But still, it was okay to be viewed on smartphones. And here is a video sample. It was shooting videos in 640x480 at 15 frames per second. Just have a look at it. Now you can't complain much about the camera quality because it's a damn cheap drone. So that was my review on the XG DIY modular drone. It's a really creative drone, you'll definitely have lots of fun playing with it. The build quality is nice, the flight performance was good and also has a basic camera on it. The only thing is the camera quality was not that satisfying and the battery life was average. But considering the cost, it's giving a lot for what you're paying. It costs only about 2800 rupees, I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below, you can get it from there. So that was it for today, thanks for watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you in the next one.